Okay, I'm back. In the last part of the video, we created the second level mezzanine using construction tool, and we just added the stairs. So in this one, I'm going to show you uh, one step further using construction tool to create a gabled roof. So first, when you need a gabled roof, especially from interior and both exterior, you will need to first set your room as a terrace. Because as we right now, if you're in the walking mode, you're looking up, you can see the ceiling right here. There is no way to get rid of that. I know. And then let's go to our floor plan. Let's click on the room name and then change the room to Terrace. See what happens here? You can already see it's different right now. If you room in a Terrace, let's go to Walk. Well, uh, there is nothing above us. So this set the canvas for creating any sort of customized roof. Let's go to Advanced Tool, go back to Construction Mode. All right, so first turn off the furniture and turn on the walls so you can get the whole look of the space. Use the mouse right button to drag and to the different part of the model and just check it. Um, so the first thing if you want to draw a gable roof, uh, very easy and simple, is you have to draw reference lines. They keep your shortcuts T. So let's press on T and let's draw a reference line from the inside surface. Actually, we want it to be the outside surface. Okay, let's click. So you have one reference line here. Okay, let's draw another reference line on the edge of the wall. So we have a vertical one. And switch back. The thing with the reference line is a little bit tricky because when you draw the reference line and see you can move it in different ways. When the line indicating the, the direction is showing color, that means you're moving perfectly orthogonal directions. It means you're moving either on X or Y or Z axis. So what you want to do is actually move it back here to the middle point. And then draw another reference line move it up. So see the numbers on the bottom part? And this is going to be the top of our gable roof, right? And as said number to be, uh, let's say 600. Okay, it's very gentle gable. So this four reference line is all we need. Let's go to line tool, click on the point, the end point, intersect, click on another end point, and finish the shape. Now we have a triangle. So this is where we can do a lot of exciting things. For example, you can directly push and pull this triangle. And all you have to do is the length of this room, say if this is about 9,000, right? We can always go back and measure it. And this is what you get. And the easiest way, which is if you really want to cheat it, is to go back to it and start deleting the bottom part of the surface, which you just created. And there you go. And the same thing, you can use the WSAD keyboard, the key to adjust, you know, browse the space like you would in the floor planner. Uh, let's add some materials. Same materials, you can always try different like flooring options, which is really cool. Uh, I like to do this a lot, which is adding composite solid wood floor on the ceiling. And it will give a really nice wood look. Let's take a look. There you go. So let's uh, also clear that, right? Um, and some of you might say, okay, this is, this looks kind of weird on the right side. So in here, let me turn on the walls again. I'm going to show you another really cool trick. Okay, so let's delete the walls we just draw. And let's say we, you want to show the thickness of the roof. How do you do that? Very simple. There's a really handy tool called offset. 
click on the surface, what it essentially does is the offsetting based on the distance on the bottom. And I set offset to be 150. Okay, let's go to line tool. See, you want it to be snap. See the red line? This is showing that your line is perfectly following the angle. And what you can do is you can delete this. And if you want to delete this, that's fine, but uh, I'm just going to use, use the push and pull again. Select the surface. Let's rotate. And select the surface. And then push and pull. See here? This is how you do the thickness with the roof. And of course, whenever you see there's on complete surface, if you guys ever use SketchUp, if you haven't used it, which is okay, you can always use the line tool, click on the doors, click on different points, and close the surface. See under. There you go. And as you guys say, oh, there's a line here too that really affects me applying in the material. No worries. Let me click it again. So what you can do, you can select the line itself and get rid, get rid of it. So this way, if I take a look into the space, you get a gable roof with the thickness and you can modify the profile infinite, in the infinite ways using the line tool and the offset. This is just a sneak peek of a construction tool capability. Uh, in the future videos, we will talk more into the different shapes you can make with construction tool. Uh, so stay tuned. So in this way, you already created, let's group them. So hold on shift, double click, and group it. This way you can also adjust the height of the model if you're not happy with it. Say if you want to move it up a little bit, right? Or if you want to, you know, move the roof to uh, entirely different locations, which you can do that as well. This will provide you maximum flexibility to do that. Let's say, okay, this room is entirely open, um, which I'm not surprised at all. Uh, let's go into this room and then let's go back and save. And back to DIY tool. And let's go to the force, go to the editing tool. And if you're looking up, there you go. This is your roof right here. Okay, thanks for watching. This is uh, Jason from Cool Home. Uh, I know this uh, model might not seem like you expected from a tutorial, but um, what I really wanted to show you is you can create any shape, any design using just Cool Home. No other software involved.